We are the friends that refuse to let you settle anywhere. We want you to take whatever expectations you have for your business and your life and expand them further than you've allowed yourself to before. We're talking style, connection, purpose, and securing all the bags. You can sit with us, but we're going to have you step your game up too. I'm Robert. I'm Rachel. And I'm Susan. Welcome Welcome to to the most. All right, and welcome to The Most Podcast, where you are going to learn to get the most out of your life. I am Robert Hartwell. I am Rachel Rogers. And I'm Susan motherfucking Hyde. (laughs) (laughs) And in this episode, are we going to let it live? Yes. Yes, live. Okay. (laughs) And in this episode, we're talking about how to live your values. Mm -hmm. And I really like to say it's being an activist in your own life. It's Mm -hmm. internal activism. Advocating for what you most need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. And I recently went to a Rachel Cargill workshop. Mm. Go to one. And <laughs> Rachel is our dear friend. And she did a workshop talking about figuring out what your highest values are. Yeah. Right? And your highest values are like, what are the things that are most important to you? It's like, what do you want to prioritize? How do you want to feel? How do you want to show up? What do you want your results to look like? And so you, she had us going through these prompts where we looked at our childhood and our current life and who we admire and the future life that we want to see for ourselves and looking for what is the thread, what are the common things and the values, um, you know, through all of those parts of your life. And one of my highest values I discovered through this workshop is excellence. Hmm. I really like to deliver like the best. And so in order to deliver the best, that means I have to accept less because I can't show up as my best if I'm doing a thousand things and preparation, right? I have to have time to prepare so that I can really feel good about what I'm delivering. And excellence is not about what other people think of what I delivered because people tell me all the time, oh, that was amazing. And I'm like, that was not my best work. Mm. I'm annoyed, (laughs) you know? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, wow, this is so eye opening. Like, that is a standard that I have for myself. That is one of my values is to, to deliver excellence. So it just helps me decide what am I going to do this year? Yeah. What am I going to prioritize, right? How am I going to show up? So it's so cool to really think about what are those values that you have for yourself, right? I love that. Even something that we talk <clears throat> about too, Susan, P.S., I love Rachel. My sad sister. My oh, new yes. sad lover. I First love of all, anyone who fills a coffee mug with champagne. I mean, correct. Listen, come correct. on. <laughs> um, is the idea of what is your end game? Mm-hmm. Like, what is it that you are fighting for? Mm-hmm. You know, what is it that you're, what is it that you're after? Mm-hmm. So I'm really curious to know what are each of our 2023 end games? Interesting. Well, I think before we do yeah. that, we have to say what our highest values are. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, because I agree with you. I think once you name what your values are, Then you want to create an end game that illustrates those feeling states, those values, so you can bring it to life. Mm -hmm. Um, So Rachel's, one of yours is excellence. Is there anything else? Community, for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I discovered at ROI as well. Like, that's always been important to me. But I I, I realized, like, I'm a community builder. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. And that's what's most important to me in my home life. Like, in my personal life, I'm always like, how can we bring people together, throw parties, Mm -hmm. host events, create group vacations, right? Like yeah. I'm always looking to gather folks, yeah. mm-hmm. um, gather loved ones and have quality time and make memories. This is why I'm really into buying big ass houses. Yeah, I don't buy big ass houses so I can show off to all y'all, okay? <laughs> I buy big ass houses so there's room for all of my people. Yeah, yeah I'm having a delightful time. <laughs> right, we're in one of my big ass houses right now. And we're loving it, okay? We're loving it. Yeah. Continue to do that because real estate investing is a passion of mine. So Absolutely continue. (laughs) But it just goes to show, right? Like knowing that community is a priority for me is how I choose where I'm going to live or what I'm going to invest in. Mm -hmm. Literally, because I want, I know I'm going to want gathering spaces where people can come and visit and they can bring their best friend or they can bring their partner and we can have like gatherings. I have gatherings of the Hello 7 team. I have gatherings of friends, I have gatherings of family all the time. And then it, I also do it in my business, right? Where we have literally, I don't even know how many events we have this year, a lot. <laughs> we have like 12 events that we're hosting this year. And ROI is the big, big event that we're doing again in 2024. And it's like, and the most is an event, right? Like it's always like, 
how can we bring people together and you know just to be seen to be accepted to be loved to like be celebrated right yes. to learn how worthy we are right like that's what i want to happen when we gather and so community is definitely mm. a high value of mine I love those yes oh my goodness i think um relationships yes for sure definitely yeah. big yes i see that oh my gosh colin would say this is my libra moon coming out right now <laughs> what i'm about to say um but beauty i was gonna say beauty i think is yeah. one of your values it's aesthetics aesthetics yes you know? wow. um, yeah because something that I think Susan and I worked on like early in our coaching relationship was when you asked me like what did success look like it's actually like I've I've done a lot of journaling about it and really thinking back to like some of my earliest memories of being in some of my wealthy friends in the Hamptons home as a mm -hmm. kid right and like seeing those gorgeous white kitchens and seeing like those beautiful bowls like fill the fruit I'm like we don't have bowls like that in my house mm, you yes. know? and so seeing yeah aesthetics beauty relationships um, and I think visibility mm -hmm. as well you know I think that's definitely that's it Mm. Yes, and I, I I see that that those yeah. are all things that you prioritize. Like I awe at your ability to maintain so many relationships mm -hmm. and like care for so many people and help and make them feel cared for and keep those connections. Like that is not easy to do. It's a lot of work, and I don't think a lot of people have those skills. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are especially talented awesome. in your ability to like That's really create a lot of amazing relationships and maintain them as well. Um, and then beauty for sure. Like you love adorning yourself. You love adorning us. <laughs> and spaces. And spaces, yeah. right? Making, like, I remember one of my first events that I did, Multiply Live. Do you remember? Oh my gosh. Yes. I remember. I remember. I yes. Yeah. You were there. You were one of the speakers. Right. And like, literally he walked up in the space and was like, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. And he goes to my husband. He's like, give me your credit card. My husband hands over his credit card. He's like, I'll be back. <laughs> and literally, he grabs one of my employees and they get in the car yeah. and they hit a couple of stores. And then literally while the party the night before is going on, he is like adorning this space. And then after the party, they call me into the space and they open the doors and I was like, oh my God. Like it was stunning. Like literally he does set design. He does home design. He does... Clothing design. <laughs> I got it from my mama. That's yes. My mama. It's literally on my mom. Yes, it you was know. amazing. Like just the ability to accessorize the space and to see like, oh, this needs to be more, right? Like, and it's also about like it seems like I think we in the world try to make beauty or making something aesthetically pleasing mean something that it doesn't. Yeah. It's really about like when you walk into a space, how does it make you feel to be in that space? How does clothing make you feel? How does a beautiful view make you feel? Yeah. Like beauty is, is is more important than I think we realize. It really affects our mood. It affects how we feel. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Powerful. Well, the research on some of the happiest countries in the world, um, it's all about huga, comfort, cozy, but also aesthetics. Yes. So everything is, aesthetics and beauty is, is a top value of um, the, uh, God, I'm going to miss. Uh... Go back to huga, you got it. <laughs> I, I'm lost. I know, no, like going? the Danish, the Finnish, the. Oh, um, yes, the, like uh, Scandinavian. Yeah, yeah. Scandinavian. This game, bleh. Scandinavian design. Fuck <laughs> it all. Okay? Bing bong, fuck you like. Okay. You were doing great. Okay, great. The happiest nations in the world, Denmark, Finland, they value beauty, aesthetics, huga, which means cozy. Um, everything about their culture is about making things aesthetically pleasing. Yes. And so it's, design, it's beautiful design. Art. Yeah. Yes, beautiful design and art. So... Yes. You're onto something. Awesome. Friend, how about you? I was sitting here thinking I kept changing my answers in my head. Mm. Um, I think the top value has to be freedom. Yes. And it stands for freedom of uh, in your body, freedom in the way that you speak, freedom to be authentically you. Um, it's just my top 
value and that everything that I've ever strived to do is about unlocking my own freedom and the freedom of others. Yes. And so whether that's in business, in your personal life, politics, um, politics, all yes. of it, you know, it's like that is such, don't fence me in. Okay. <laughs> Try to fence me in, especially in these genie pants. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> Make a wish. Um, <laughs> the second would be pleasure. Yes. Um, One hundy. Is a, is a top <laughs> value of mine because I think, and I think I know that women are taught to devalue pleasure and to put everyone else's happiness and pleasure ahead of their own. Mm -hmm. And I am all about reversing that. You have to put pleasure first. Pleasure is your business plan. Pre pleasure is your life plan. Um, and then I would say connection. Yes. So, which is why I also love events. Yes. At like the most or retreats or any gathering really. And I'm an introvert. I don't know if you know, I'm turning 50 and I'm an introvert. <laughs> and so. <laughs> we'll keep you all updated on that. <laughs> okay. But, but. But we'll send a calendar invite. Yeah, really. <laughs> but I'm an outgoing introvert, and so I am very intentional about the spaces that I go in and the spaces that I create because our energy is everything. One hundred percent. Right, and so it's like I'm not going to waste my energy going to some whack event or to some <laughs> neighborhood thing that I don't want to go to <laughs> unless I'm having it at my house. <laughs> Then it's going to be bomb. But <laughs> as an introvert, I love connection because in a large group, if it's not curated properly, it can feel overwhelming. It can feel like, why bother? I don't yes. want to talk to these people, which is why we get together and put on some of the most amazing events you could ever attend because we understand that. Yes. So I would say um, freedom, pleasure, and connection. Yes. So good. I think also one of the reasons our events are so special is because each of our zones are so different. Mm -hmm. It's like they also have like really beautiful crossover. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like you, you know, he became a really angry, mean stage mom at the end <laughs> of the planning process for the most last year. He's like, we're going to have these beautiful vignettes. And I'm like, could we do? No, no. <laughs> Stop having opinions. It's perfect. The vignettes have been ordered. Okay. They're happening. This is the lighting we will have and there will be no other lighting. Understand? I will say the vignettes were perfect. The lighting will be more exquisite this year. Okay. The lighting could use a... Yeah. It wasn't quite the standard of excellence that no, we no. were talking about earlier. We're, we're well, yeah, year. there's yeah. a reason why. Yeah. <laughs> But seriously, it's like we all get to sit in our zones of genius and bring our values and our standards, right, and our special talents together. And it's so fun. Like, yeah. that's why partnerships and collaborations can be so great when they are right, when you feel aligned. Yeah. Because then everybody brings their talents together to create something that is better than each of us could have created on our own. Correct. Mm. So good. So good. So that being said, now let's talk about end games. Yes. Oh my that? God! Am I up first? You yes. are. We're looking at you. Our end game for, <laughs> for 2023. Two, so when you think about the values that that you said, and yeah. and also like how do you want to feel mm -hmm. um, as you're navigating 2023? What would be like a beautiful precap? Mm -hmm. Recapping in advance. Mm -hmm. Yes. A beautiful precap for this year. I will have spent the year, the top of the year, filling all of my programs mm -hmm. because I want to work smarter and not harder. And what I love most is connecting with people from the stage. Yes. And so instead of being in endless webinars and endless sales calls, I'm like, Let's go on tour. Mm -hmm. let's, let's be on stage. Let's be on stage. Yes. Let's sell out all of our coaching for the year from that event and allow the year then to be spacious mm -hmm. so that I can say yes and hold my yes to dating, to friendship. Yes. Um, and let's see, what else? Oh my gosh, y'all put me first. I think <laughs> the, the other thing 
that would happen <laughs> this year. This. Is... It better be what I'm thinking. <laughs> what? I love that you're like, what else this year? You know, what, else was, gonna... what else is here? Oh, what else <laughs> is finishing my home? Like finishing filming the TV show. Yes, yes. he has a TV and show coming out yes, this year, y'all. Yes, that would be. <laughs> finishing filming the TV show and then, oh my God, I literally, honestly, like, Y'all, yes, we have, like, ideas of, like, what we're going to talk about, but this is, like, really happening in time of, like, thinking, like, what will this year look like? Um, So, finishing the home, finishing the TV show, and allowing spaciousness in my business and personal life so that I can be visible as my personal brand to publicize the TV show and to go on a tour Mm -hmm. for that as well so that it's a massive success so that there's season two and three and four and five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love it. I love it. And no season two face. No season two face. (laughs) People probably don't know what we're talking about with season two face. And we're not going to tell them. (laughs) We're not going to face. We're like, we don't want to get canceled on the We're internet. We're not going to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Come to the most. We'll talk about it in the private intimate <laughs> That's where the real tea is spilled Yeah, off. that's where the real tea is. In the room. That's the get on the plane energy. Yes, okay? it is. Yes. So, how about you? <laughs> you like how she's, she's like, like, I'll go last. You see how I tried to preempt? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So one thing I like to do when I'm claiming an end game, I call it also a precap, recapping in advance, is to talk about it as if it happened. Like, isn't it amazing how? Yes. Right? So isn't it amazing how I rebranded Life of Yes to be Yes Live. Yes Live. Yes Live. So good. And I (laughs) grew it. Four times the yes. amount that I started with. Mm-hmm. Um, isn't it amazing that that then enabled me to be freer in my time, freer um, to do the things that I want to do, like multiple retreats, like Morocco and Vietnam and Ireland? Wasn't it so fabulous? My vow renewal. Oh my god! It was oh epic. my god! The dress. I mean, the dress. The dress. <laughs> And the gift that I'm getting. Yes, the, the gift. gift that I got was just fabulous. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then I felt I felt free enough yeah. to complete my next book. Yes, which is yes, live. Yes, live. 365 days of living your best life. That's right. So I good. Love that. Yeah. So I the love book will be finished. Time. The community will have grown. Um, uh, both of my 20-somethings will be gainfully employed. Yes. Um, and off the payroll. Off the payroll, as Sky <laughs> likes to say. He said to me the other day, he goes, can't you feel it? Both of them are almost off the payroll. I was like, I can feel it. He's like, do you feel those coins falling back into our pockets? <laughs> And also, I am claiming that isn't it fabulous how much my commercial real estate portfolio grew? Yay! Oh, my gosh. Hello. <laughs> that is great. This. I'm so excited. I love this year that you've had. This is a great yes. <laughs> 2023, she was good to you. Yeah. She was very okay. good. So good. So good. So good. Now, how about you? My end game. Well, wasn't it amazing the be- the Beyonce concert that we went to. Oh my God. And that we were in the club Renaissance the Ren- seats. Yes. yes. Right. That we had the best seats Correct. in the house. Yes, we did. And she looked into our eyes and we danced together. She touched Just us. Just like last time. She touched she us. Touched <laughs> us. She, she touched us. She actually us. said, I heard there is a renowned life coach in the audience. <laughs> Susan Hyatt. Who is my biggest fan? That was wasn't that just did that blow your mind? Wait. First of all, that couldn't have happened because clearly Rachel Rogers is okay. That I, like, I, don't, accept. Right, this I is, don't accept. I don't accept this. Is correct. your end game? I can't get over. You hijacked my end game. That's what friends do. <laughs> so for me, I think for sure going to the Beyonce concert is absolutely in the yes. plan for the year. That's part of my end game. Um, but I'm also um, looking forward to living in a more tropical location. Mm-hmm. I think that's going to be fabulous. And I'm just going to acquire more stunning and exciting and, 
you know, built for gatherings property, you know, for all my people to visit. Please. Whenever they would like. Yeah. So that's Always. gonna be fabulous. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited to plan ROI 2024, so that it's even more epic than it was this year. I'm excited for all of the events that, that we are doing this year. Um, what else? I'm looking forward to, I have a whole bunch of surprise um, trips planned for my family and my husband. So I love that. Like I'm prioritizing um, my relationship with my husband and my kids and doing fun things with them and having adventures with, with each of them and all of them together at different times. So I'm so excited about that. What else? Oh yeah, I'm, you know, writing and publishing another book. You know, small things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just that little, little thing. Um, and yeah, I mean, just continuing to build with my team. I'm, I'm also really excited for our, our coach certification that we're rolling out and to graduate 200 incredible Hella 7 coaches by the end of this year yeah. is going wow. to be epic. So I'm just looking forward to, again, it's like all about community and excellent, having yeah. excellent time <laughs> together. Yeah. Um, and also saying yes to less things. That is one of the things that we did. We did our literal whole calendar for 2023. Every single thing that I'm committed to is literally all, already on my calendar. If it ain't on my calendar, I'm probably not doing it this year, y'all. Mm. And I'm good with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying no. Because in order to have, you know, high standards, in order to have the gatherings that I want to have, in order to have excellent work out in the world and be an excellent wife and an excellent mother and an excellent friend and all of those things... I cannot say yes to everything. And so I say no a whole lot more than I say yes. And I feel so good about it because I feel like my priorities are really clear and it's very easy to say no. You yeah. know, it used to be hard to say no. Yeah. Now it feels easy. It's like, nope, mm -mm, not interested. <laughs> Yoko no <-o. laughs> Correct. Yeah. As I like to say. Yeah. Exactly. So that is my end game. It's like having a year that is not running around doing things that I'm like, why am I doing this? Mm. But having a year that is very intentional, mm -hmm. that is very purposeful, that is very focused on the best, most important things that I could do with my time in my life. Mm -hmm. So that feels I good. Love that. I love this exercise. It's so good. Y'all should try it. Well, and, and <laughs> if you want to try it, these <laughs> You also get you some of that, okay? <laughs> Come to the most. No, it's important for you to identify your values. It's important for you to think about how you want to feel. Yes. How you don't want to feel. Mm -hmm. The things you need to get off your list. The things you want to prioritize as you so beautifully articulated. Mm -hmm. And to give yourself the time and space to sit down and be intentional about what you're going to put in your end game. Yes. And these are the kinds of discussions we have at the most. Exactly. Listen, life doesn't happen to you. Mm -hmm. Right. And so how can you happen to life? How can you be the one that's saying, here's what's going to happen this year. And here's how I want to feel all year long. And here's what I'm going to prioritize all year instead of just kind of letting everything come at you. I think sometimes and I used to be that way where I just let things happen to me all the time. And I'm like, why is this happening? And then realize, like, actually, I have power. I have the ability to create what I want, to create yeah. the day that I want, to create the feelings that I want. Um, and so if I just make different choices... I can have the kind of life and the kind of days and the kind of year that I'm hoping to have. I love that. I also love, and I hope you all feel this as well, we didn't, I didn't really think through that, that it, it's okay if it's stumbly at yes. the beginning, right? Yes. Like it's okay if it's a little messy and yes. you don't have it fully figured out, which I think is even more reason to join us at the most, yes. right? Because I guarantee you what we are saying right now will be even like more vibrant and more alive mm -hmm. when we're together in April in LA and I also can't wait all of us can't wait to meet you and hear what those values are yes. you know and hear what you're going to be celebrating at the end of this year and I know that you coming and joining us and meeting this new incredible group of friends is going to help you make those things happen much faster than staying home mm -hmm. okay correct mm -hmm. so get your shoes on okay <laughs> get your get, dancing shoes get your on get your shoes on cash in your points Light put on your genie it. pants yeah put on <laughs> your <laughs> genie pants let's go <laughs> hashtag put on your genie pants 
hashtag put on your genie pants. Go to <laughs> welcome to the most.com and we will see you in LA April 27th through the 29th for the most. <laughs> Thank you.